Hi and welcome to Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Radar. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. And tonight we're going to be doing Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada Norwal. It is 10.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, these are relatively expensive. They come in four packs. Um, this is the 2014 one. No, yeah, you don't have a bottle opener. It's true, I don't have a bottle opener over here. Thank you. Uh, is I'm saying it, I have three. Mr. Wizard. <laughs> All in one keychain. It is an Imperial Stout. Uh, it is pouring like syrup. Pour it vigorously there and get a head on it. Pour it directly in. At the top, now you get it up. Not vigorous enough. Get a little head on there. Yeah, that looks nice. Look at my head. You want, it'll slowly rise. It's going to surge. It's got a little surge on it. Oh, it's going to take a while to set up. Yeah, we're going to leave it uh, for a second. Um, I've never had this before, but they are supposedly amazing. Yeah, I hear good things about them. Uh, th did I say they're 10.2% alcohol by volume? Because I don't think you did yet. They're 10.2% alcohol by volume. They, they, alcohol by they, volume. Are, they yes. are. Um, we talked about the head. They look it, too. Um, this is very... Uh, it's like thick. Coffee colored. It's like a it's super, super thick. Khaki. Dark khaki. Dark khaki head. Dark khaki. It's got some big bubbles there, too, on top. Um, can you see it through? The answer is no. no you cannot. It not is a, very, not at very, all. very dark. It's a very dark, dark brown. Like a very Hold dark. Hold it up to the light, you can't even see through. Like a very dark, <laughs> rustic coffee. Um, With a head on it. Let's take a smell. Of course. Bet you it smells like. Uh, like very. Oil. Very roasty. Um, yeah, yep. you do get a little coffee in there. Um, maybe a little caramel. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely caramel. Maybe some bread bread crusts in there. I'm getting mostly just caramel and coffee. Mostly caramel. I don't Radar doesn't like coffee, bread so we crust. already know we're probably going to like this more. All yeah. right, I think it's ready to drink. Let's do this. Uh, Mouthfeel is medium. Uh, going yeah, right within the heavy range. He took a big goal. <laughs> well, it looks messed with my mustache. Ah. <laughs> Did you try and swallow your mustache? Yep. Uh, it's got almost a creaminess to it towards the back end. I got it. Yeah, definitely got a creaminess to it. Um, it just is. It's a pretty thick taste all the way through, though. No, it sticks with you. Um, yeah. It's got a decent bitterness there. Um, you get nice roasty flavors up front. Mm -hmm. You do get a little caramel, and like I said, it is a little creamy in there. Um, coffee, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, not in the crazy in the coffee area. You can't tell it's but 10%. There's a lot of, yeah, you can't at all tell that this is 10%. Um, there's a lot of other there. flavors in there to, uh, to play with the coffee, though. It's not just coffee, which makes me happy. It's got some kind of like a, like a, some kind of, tanginess I can't really put my finger on there yeah I was thinking it was hops but now I think it might be like zest or something it's got something there it's it's decent I mean would I be able to drink more than one of these probably not but I'd say I think no it'd be nice yeah. to sit down and have one yeah yeah it's yeah it's very darkly roasted too you can tell mm-hmm I feel like if you let it warm up, you'd be would be able to pull a whole lot more flavors out of this as well. Um, yeah, I had it warmed up. Um, I like it at this temperature better than I had it at room temperature. This is probably probably this is probably like forty five degrees, maybe fifty. Around about yeah. Forty to fifty. Um, yeah, I had it at room uh, slightly below room temperature. I did not care for it. I like it a lot better. It was really metallic at room temperature. Really? Yeah. It's one of those things that I've started doing is when I get a six pack of something, I put one out. And then I have one that's cold and one that's warm. I think, just, the difference in flavor is insane. I think the bitterness is right on par. I think it's right where it needs to be. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah. too bitter. It's not... Um, I feel like it'd give me indigestion, though, for some reason. I don't know. It's a weird, I don't feel, it's a weird I don't, thing to say, but... I don't I mean, get that feeling. It's some, some, some things with me. It's got really nice lacing. Oh, yeah. Right out of glass here. So what do you think of it? Um, Rating-wise... How much was it? Uh, did you say it was like thirteen dollars? Thirteen, fourteen. Up, yeah, for, up there. for a four pack. I paid four to Liquor Barn, so it was probably a little more than. And you know, it uh, it's not bad by any stretch. But here's the deal, um, Guinness is uh, eight dollars and some change for a four pack of uh of cans, and. And I do love me some Guinness. Guinness is some good stuff, so that's gonna give it a ding, but. 
Uh, this is good. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this. It's like a seven and a half. This is really good. It is, but it's pricey. It's that's, very that's, 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 that's really the downfall of this beer. It's pricey, but I would buy it again. I probably will buy it again. I'd have to give this um, a seven and a half as well. It is really good. Like I said, the price point, you know, it's a little painful, but I mean, it's it's great. I mean, I'd get it again. Like I said, a four pack of if I had four buddies coming over, yeah, I'd get a four pack of oh, this. Yeah. We might start out with this and then go something a little lighter, but I couldn't drink these online. I mean, you could like, kind of have this with like a dinner type thing. I don't know what you'd have it with. I mean, it's probably a lot of calories. We're probably high in calories. Yeah, yeah. This is like, after, like, after dinner coffee, you could replace the coffee with this beer. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, this beer and a couple cigars, you know. <laughs> Having a man. <laughs> man. Do I have to wear a poofy purple shirt with a smoking jacket over it? So, uh... No. <laughs> Ray. Um, I'm going to give this a 7.5 as well. It's good. It is pricey. Yeah. For less, I can get four Guinnesses. Which, I guess... Guinness is some good stuff. Guinness yeah, isn't as roasty and doesn't have as many flavors. That's that's stuff. true. It's not as complicated as this. But, but it, it but still, if I was picking between the two, and typically when I go to spend beer, I don't spend over ten bucks. Yeah. So, yeah. And also, thing. you know, the four cans Guinness are you know sixteen, 16 ounces. This is. But to be fair, this is this is ten point two percent alcohol. That is true too. But um, you know, I'd recommend trying it. You know, get four. You know, get three friends. You know. And just sit back, drink this, and enjoy. All right. Uh, well, that's our episode. If there's something you like seeing on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.